my channel and to another vlog. This week we are back into homeschooling. It is the second day of the summer school term today. So I thought I would film a day in the life, but also show you how we're doing like homeschooling today and hopefully give you some ideas. I know I'm taking so much from just seeing how other mums are coping and what they're doing in terms of homeschooling. Um, so yeah, I hope you like it. I'm also gonna give a bit of a health update in this video because I've had loads of questions um, about my health because I talked about that a couple of months ago. So I will give you an update in a bit. Um, but first thing this morning, Matt has gone to do our food shopping. Um, where we live, they do early slots for the vulnerable on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we've been going early on a Tuesday and Matt has had no problem getting in and getting everything. We've, we've had to take our meal planning to like another level because you can't run to the corner store or anything in between shops. We just really have to get it right. So last night we sat down, we made this huge list and um, I've had a few questions on here about why we're not doing online shopping and we've really been struggling to get any delivery slots. I have discovered Amazon Pantry and I've used that for quite a few bits, especially like cleaning products and stuff. Um, but we can never seem to get a delivery slot, but we're being really careful with it. You know, as soon as Matt gets home, we are disinfecting him, we're disinfecting everything, we're washing, you know, it is like a big ordeal, but it's the best way to stay safe and get everything that we need. So he's gone to do that this morning. Um, so I'm just about to get the boys dressed. And then first off, we're gonna start out with maths um, and then English. We were doing PE first, um, you may remember, with the PE with Joe Wicks. But then I was finding after that, then it was like a break. And then by the time we got into academic, I just felt like actually it might be better to just start with the academic because they're like raring to go and then just get that mostly out of the way, have a break. And then we can always like tune into the PE lesson later on. Like it doesn't have to be live. The kids school has been great with sending us like all the stuff they need and saying, this is maths for Monday. This is maths for Tuesday. So I've been printing everything out. Like our printer has been working overtime. Yeah, so we've got everything ready for today. Let's go and get the boys. So this is our schedule. We've still got our rainbow. So they start out on the green and they can go up and down, like depending on behavior. If they get to the rainbow by the end of the week, they get a prize. Um, but yeah, we're starting out with maths and English, break, science, topic work, lunch, PE, art, life skill, and then they can catch up because sometimes they don't finish all the stuff that they need to because they're quite short lessons. But I find that's the best way to keep Caleb's um, attention. So Fraser is just doing his online maths homework. And for Caleb today, he needed to write numbers one to 20 on a piece of paper, cut them out, turn them upside down. And now he's got to try and see how long it takes him to order them back from one to 20. Um, Jackson's over there playing a little game. So the game that Jackson is playing right now on the phone is called Zoo Train. It is a little educational game. I think it cost like 99p or 199, this was ages ago. Um, but it is actually a really good one that they like and there's no ads. So that's quite nice because it doesn't like, interrupt him. Um, so yeah, he's just building train tracks while I try and help the big boys. Caleb is now doing his maths mat. This is from his teacher, but it is also from Twinkle. So you can like print these off on um, the Twinkle website. I found it's like a really good one. Um, and Fraser, his homework is really hard. He's doing long division and I'm trying to rack my brain. So we're just trying to work out how to actually do this. So Caleb had a few minutes left, so he's now playing Timetable Rockstars. Um, so it's a really good like website. You can just create an account um, and it's really teaching him his times tables. You get a score and then when you get points, you can then buy like cool rock clothes for them to wear. And yeah, it is like really fun and he's definitely learning a lot. <laughs> Not a word, is it? What about this? What's hatch? Hatching. Hatching. Yeah, hatching would work. So the big boys are just having a break in the next room, so we can finally give Jackson some attention. He's three, and what I'd love to do during this quarantine time is teach him how to write his name. He's got quite a tricky name, seven letters, and he's really interested in this. <laughs> um, but I've basically written out his name in like a light yellow color 
and I also have done a dot to dot on the other side put it into this plastic wallet and I'm gonna ask him to go over it I have also done things like yesterday I wrote out all of the names in the family to make sure he could recognize his name and I just said Jackson which one is your name out of all these names which one is Jackson which one is your name <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> Jackson. This one. That's right. Your name. Right. Do you want to do the dot to dot again? Yeah? Or look, you can go over the yellow or you can connect all the dots. <laughs> Which one do you want to do? The dots? Okay. So here is your pen. Do you want to do blue? Or you can use any colour you want. Shall I hold your apple? Yeah. <laughs> Very good, line. Jack Jack. Yeah. On the top. Whoa! Oh, that's the Jack. Can I do that? That's the Jack. Do I, I have to get the other colour red. Oh, good idea. Rainbow name. Let's make it a rainbow name. Do the ah. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> ah apple. Apple. It makes pink. Oh, it's nice though. Oh, just... that's really good. <gasps> that's the curly cur. Another cur. That's the cur. Uh, I'll colour to match that. What one do you want? Green? Green. One. And then the kick. And then two. Yes. Yes. He's so great. that says Jack. Is that your name? <laughs> now you have to we need the sun. <laughs> I know. Start at the big dot. Yeah, that's what I try to do. Like a larger dot where you start. I'm on the next level. On the next level. <laughs> it's just like a computer game. <gasps> that is such Yay. a good. Black. Oh, that's a perfect one. Wow. I've done it in the lines. Very good. In next the lines. Yay. Yay. That's so now we can eye. take the white wall part off and it will look like he's done it. Yeah, that's true. You can take the bit out. So now, do you want to try it on the yellow? Maybe you should go to school in September. Oh, no. <laughs> Why not, Mummy? No, we're not ready. <laughs> Thank God, you're going to be five when you start. Yes, yeah, so we're going to keep working with Jackson to write his name, and then hopefully the idea is that we can then take away the dots behind it, and he'll be able to actually write it, and can go back to nursery being able to write his name. Um, but he has got a really good little grip um, but if you're wanting to teach your child how to write the name but you're not sure if the little like tripod grip is right there are activities that you can do online you can print off things where they can follow a path or like learn how to do circles um, so that's like a good place to start so that they can do their mark making and then actually write their name but actually you've got really good fine motor skills especially for a boy I think boys struggle more um with like the fine motor skills but they're really good at like the big motor skills um so but actually he's he's quite good at that um I, my, my older boys weren't as good at the same age well, we got um, a different home. yeah but hopefully once we do jackson as well then you can we'll teach you how to write norris yeah and then you can write jackson norris can't you yeah, you clever. I'm gonna do my marble run. Okay, let's do marble run. Right, Jacks, ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, how does this go? Ah. It's a bit. Is it broken a bit? Yeah. Where did this one go? Oh ah, yes. You're good at cutting, aren't you? Yeah, I'm the best cutter in the class. Are oh, you? Wow. This class. The best cutter in the homeschool class, no, too. Yeah. I'm kidding.
Okay, so we've made it to lunchtime today. Caleb has got a bagel with cream cheese and purple grapes. Jack C, you've got ham sandwich and purple grapes. And you have got ham and cheese sandwich with more grapes. It's always nice when we get to this point of the day because that is pretty much all the academic work done this morning and then after lunch like they can have a break now and then we can just do like some art and some life skills and like it's a lot more chill. Um, so that's good because I found Fraser's work today was really hard. His, his math was long division, his English was really tough as well and then he had to do this whole big PowerPoint about the digestive system for science and then questions about that. Um, so yes, it's nice we can chill now. Right, so we're all done with lunch now and I've just done a little clean up and now Matt is going to do the PE lesson in the garden outside. I think they're just going to set up an assault course because they really love doing that. Some days we've been going for a walk but most days we've been staying in and doing something. The boys aren't that keen to venture out at all anymore. Um, they really like just staying at home So, and it's also a beautiful day. So Matt is going to do the PE lesson now and then I think I'm doing art in a minute. What lessons next? PE. What are we going to do? Obstacle course. Obstacle course? Cool. Do you want to make it or me make it? Yeah. So boys, this is what you got to do. You start around the corner, you have to run around as fast as you can, up to the top of the slide, down the slide, score two baskets, yeah? And then you got to come back, do five hula hoops around your waist, yeah? And then you get the tennis racket, you put the ball on it, like that. That's it, and then you balance it all the way without using your other hand. You balance it all the way, and you've got to climb in there carefully without dropping it. Then you put it down, then you do long jump, and you jump into your hoop, Caleb on the right, Fraser on the left, and then there'll be a ball there, which you volley it in the goal. Ready? Who's up first? So, are we timing? Yeah. Okay, Fraser, I'll time you for your one. You can try and beat your time, yeah? Ready, go! Go on, Fraser. Well, two baskets. One. Dunk. Five of those, properly. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, tennis racket. Don't drop it. Yes, long jump. Oosh. Yes. Wait, Fraser. 22 seconds. Go. Oh, 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 I like it. You get a hoop on it. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. You're slam dunk it. It's alright, it's alright. One, one more. Yes, two hula. Five hulas. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, shake those hips. Tennis racket, tennis racket, tennis racket. Balance it, don't let it fall off. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Oh, look at that. Cool, so cool. Yes, put that in there. He's right, he's right, he's right. Long jump. Into the. Yes, now volley, now volley the ball, volley the ball, quick get the ball. Yes, skills, high five. Okay, let's see what you got. 29 seconds. Yes. So now it's art, and I actually got this on Amazon. It was only eight pounds, and I thought it looked really cool. It is a glow in the dark planetarium that you paint yourself. So all the bits come like this. You build the planets, paint the planets, and then you put it all together like on this planetarium. And it shows like what planets spin around. So Caleb is just painting the planets. We've had a bit of a nightmare with this kit. It isn't like the best most well made. I wouldn't recommend that you guys buy it because it's been quite tricky to make. So much so that Fraser has lost interest and Jackson as well. Caleb's really creative. He loves stuff like this. So he's still going strong. Fraser's playing football now with daddy outside and Jackson is in the little tent out there doing a puzzle. Um, so we're just trying to carry on with this, but like the paint was really bad quality. We've started using our own. It was like really hard to put together and stuff. Um, but now he's into it like, I think it's gonna be okay. Um, but yeah, don't you hate that when you spend money on something and you're like looking forward to it and it's actually not that great. Mercury, which one's, where's Mercury? The blue one. 
so Caleb has done the sun in the middle and he's now doing Mercury. What's going on in here? What are you building? A play mag. Oh, it's the play mag's tent. Yeah. How much is it to get in, mate? Um, three million pounds. Three million pounds? Oh, <laughs> bargain. I Can told I you. Mate, you do know there's like financial difficulties in the world right now. Three million pounds. I got some money. Can I pay cash? You can't. can't. You can't pay anything. Oh, how can I get in then? It's free, free, free and lots of money. Oh wow. You can't get in anymore. Okay. Dad? Yeah? I need to come and get money. Okay, I need to borrow some money. Okay. Oh. Hey, Mo! Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, unlucky. Off a chance. Come on, do it better. Yeah! yeah. High five. I tackle you! <laughs> That's not what you do. Whenever you score, he wrestles you. Beneath the waves, right beneath my feet, there are creatures beyond our imagination. This is so cool. What? I what know. is that? Oh, it's got that little feet. <laughs> I know they are. Oh. So we were supposed to be doing life skills now, but they all like lost the will to do anything else. So we've put on Blue Planet, which is like David Attenborough. It's so good. Um, so we're gonna watch like 20 minutes of that. <laughs> Yeah. The waters of the tropics. I've seen that. To the I've seen dogs. I've never seen dogs. Jackson said this is like the Easter Bunny, <laughs> and he said, so when the fish ate something out of an oyster, Jackson went, you shouldn't this eat that. No, you shouldn't eat that. Lots of birds. There's lots of birds. Fraser, there's lots of birds. There's lots of birds. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, I've seen this one. Yeah, I've seen this one. Oh, yeah, I've seen this one. Right, so we've just had dinner. Matt and I had leftover lentil chili and the kids had jacket potatoes. But now I've come upstairs to give you a bit of a health update because a couple of months ago I talked about a few issues that I was having and a few of you have asked since what's going on with your health. So I thought I would update you, but if you're not interested in this like health update, feel free to skip forward. I know it's not for everyone. And I'm also talking about women's things. Um, but equally, if you are a woman around my age, this might interest you. Um, but to quickly recap, for about a year, I was having really bad monthlies. They became really heavy. I started getting like acne. I felt like I was putting on loads of weight felt sluggish and just so hormonal. Like I got rage around uh, my period the whole week before and the whole week of, and it got to the point where I felt like it was taking over my life. So I just needed to go and see a doctor. So I booked a private healthcare check and at that they did blood tests and they did a scan on my ovaries and everything. And it came out, like the results were that I had polycystic ovaries and possibly endometriosis. And also the marker um, for ovarian cancer in my blood, which is called CA125, was high. So that was a massive worry for me. Um, but then I took all of the results I got from the private doctor and I went to my normal doctor on the NHS and she sent me for further tests at my local hospital. And I then had to go to them and have a scan. 
and um, like an examination and stuff like that. And it was really interesting, the difference between the private doctor and the NHS doctor. Um, I had a really good experience with both, but I felt like the NHS doctor was really thorough, just explained things well, and they, they put me at ease. It was like they just, they weren't that worried. Um, it, but it did seem like they've seen so much worse, you know, it was that sort of vibe. But I had a scan with them. It was actually done by a man, which was quite nerve wracking. Um, but he let me see the ultrasound screen and just explained everything really well. Um, showed me the cysts on my ovaries, like we counted them, and there was nine. And apparently polycystic ovaries is when you have 12 cysts and over, whereas I had nine. So he was like, you don't have polycystic ovaries, you have multicystic ovaries, which is not such a worry and um, like it wasn't as bad, I guess. Yeah, and then in terms of the endometriosis, a doctor did an examination and she wasn't worried, um, especially, I guess she wasn't that worried because I've had all my children. She was like, if I was trying to conceive, it might be different. Um, and then I could have an MRI scan in the future if I really want to see everything. Um, but then the coronavirus happened. I did have blood tests on the day, um, but then the coronavirus happened soon after that as well. So I haven't had the results yet because really we want to see if the CA125 has come down because in the interim of seeing the two doctors, I did quite a few changes. So I'm the type of person who likes to have loads of information. Like when I'm pregnant, I buy every baby book going, everything on birth. I like to like learn as much as possible. So when the doctor said to me, you have polycystic ovaries, I downloaded so many audiobooks. I started following so many accounts on Instagram about PCOS. Um, and I just started to like Google and like take in all this info. And it does make sense if I don't have it because quite a few um, like symptoms that people have when they have PCOS, I wasn't experiencing. Um, so it kind of makes sense. But then at the end of all of this, I was having terrible um, periods and I really just wanted to get something to help the symptoms. And my doctor recommended the coil, but I couldn't book him for that because of the coronavirus. <laughs> um, so in the meantime, I have gone back onto the contraception pill, which I haven't been on since before children, but I've been on it now for two months, two cycles, and I feel so much better. <laughs> like, I, and I know so many um, people have said to me, if it is PS PCOS, I might just be masking the symptoms, and then when I come off the pill, it could be worse. Um, but I was getting to the point where I was like, I need something and the doctor said to me like you don't have polycystic ovary so I really didn't know what to do. Going back on the pill has been amazing <laughs> like it has balanced my hormones out. I feel like my skin is so much better than it was like I was having really bad breakouts. Um, I feel like I'm losing weight and that that could be because of the pill but also uh, when I was reading up on PCOS um, like they said you know if you have it you really need to be working out for half an hour a day um, or being active like getting your heart pumping because that really helps your hormones so I started doing that five days a week um, I also gave up gluten so I've been trying to eat gluten free because that was something they recommended if you had PCOS and also really laying off the carbs because again that was something that they really recommended so I changed my diet quite a lot um, some of you will know I've also stopped eating so much meat. Um, so all of those changes have probably helped me to lose, I've lost like half a stone, which is about seven pounds. Um, and I'm still like persevering with the workouts and stuff, but it is a juggle. Like it is hard to fit it in around the kids. Um, but anyway, I feel like I'm really waffling. This is probably going to be such a long video now, so I'm sorry. Um, but that's where we're at. I guess I got, I kind of got a bit desperate. Um, I'm really glad I've gone back on the pill because I feel so much better and my monthlies are so much better now. Um, and I don't know if that's what I would have done if the coronavirus hadn't got in the way. You know, my doctor like recommended it and was like, we just need to get you to a place where like you're feeling better and like 
you know, we can then do the tests because obviously all non-emergency tests and things have just been stopped. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. And I feel like the workouts are actually really helping. So many of you guys on Instagram have asked me what I'm following, but I'm pretty much just going onto YouTube and doing a 20 minute full body workout, either by Lucy Wyndham Reed, I'll link her down below. She's like the nicest person ever. Um, and also Pamela Reef. I really like her workouts because they had to like quite funky music. Um, but yeah, just doing that 20 minutes a day. Sometimes the kids join in um, and just, yeah, just like getting my heart pumping really because that's the, what the doctor said I should be doing. And I actually didn't realize that that really helps your hormones. I'm now gonna try and do my little workout. So I'll show you the one that I'm doing today. <laughs> So before I do my little workout, we are going to quickly tidy up the mess in this room as a family. And then Matt is gonna take the boys upstairs for a bath while I do my little workout. I love him so much for doing that. Um, he's actually really suffering with hay fever today. Like he's really struggling, really sneezing with it. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're gonna do this. <laughs> To be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame And being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time Looks like You can do better So much better So I've had a shower and now the two little ones are in bed. The big one here is awake. We've been letting him stay up still and we've actually been watching so many cool movies with him. The other night we watched Groundhog Day, which he really liked, didn't you? And uh, it's one that I watched when I was younger and it was funny because afterwards we were talking and we were like, it's like Groundhog Day right now in quarantine <laughs> you wake up do the same thing um but yeah anyway this is probably a really long vlog now because i feel like i've talked so much um but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>